Today we're going to talk about CES 2025 and AI products. And as you probably guessed, AI is kind of scattered all over CES. So first let's look at the Ropet. Uh, this is your emotional AI pet companion and it is $299. It features a camera, a screen, a microphone, a speaker, and a processor. Its screen is its eyes and it's designed to convey its emotion. So the Ropet can feel shy or reluctant to interact with you and then you're going to have to like pet its top and as you pet it it's going to lift its mood and the more in you interact with it the more unique it will get uh, so this ai pet will connect to wi-fi and it will use ChatGPT to engage in conversations with you it is an attentive listener and it remembers what it sees which could raise some privacy concerns especially while the company claims that most of your data is kept locally uh, speaking of something that can see, we're going to talk about the Samsung Bali. So this was first introduced at CES five years ago, and since then the robot has undergone some practical redesigns. So in some of the demos, they asked it to show a movie, and it rolled around and projected a movie on the wall. And then it was asked to make the picture bigger. So it was smart enough to look for a wall to accommodate a larger projection. Uh, in another interaction with Bali, they held up a pair of wine bottles and asked the robot which would make a better pairing for dinner, and it was able to answer that. So it has some visual AI powers, and Samsung has confirmed that it will be released, finally, in the first half of 2025. Do you like playing basketball? Well, there's this Davy Robots Datic 1. Uh, it's a system that weighs 33 pounds, so it's relatively portable, and you wheel it around under a hoop. And what it does is when you shoot the ball into the hoop, the robot uses machine vision and AI to track the shooter and swivel its head to return the ball back to the shooter. So you score, it passes it back to you. While you're busy playing basketball, you're going to miss out on all the birds that are coming to bathe in your backyard. So the BirdFi Bath Pro uh, was released and it's a camera equipped smart bird bath that lets you watch the birds that come to your house. It starts at $250, but for another $50, you can get a lifetime subscription to its AI feature. So the service with AI will allow you to recognize birds, offer you a daily visitor count and the bird picture highlights. This next one, we're going to bring the outdoors indoors and it's called the leafy pod. So you download an app, you choose the type of plant that is in your planter, and then the planter will begin to learn how your plant and soil react when it's watered. After the first few waterings, the smart planter will create an ideal watering routine, and then it will alert you if it needs more light or needs to be moved due to temperature or humidity changes. Withings also had a really cool announcement with the Omnia. So it's a full length smart mirror that has a base and sensors that can gather data about your weight and metabolism, among other things. The company is aiming to integrate other smart devices into the Omnia to paint a fuller picture of your health from sleep and fitness to everything in between. However, don't get too excited. This product is just a concept for now. Google TV is getting some upgrades as well. Gemini capabilities are coming on Google TV, which is going to be replacing Google Assistant. So this will allow you to ask much more complex queries and ask much more complex questions in general. So up next, we have some wearables we're gonna talk about. And the first one is the Natura Humana Human Pods. And I think they tried making the name a tongue twister. Uh, it is wearable earbuds, and it allows you to tap the side to access different AI people. So these are large language model uh, based AI agents with unique personalities and voices. If you do not want to use those, you can use the leading large language models such as ChatGPT or Claude to talk to those. Have you ever seen the hand gestures on the Apple Vision Pro and told yourself, hey, I wish I can control everything that way? Well, you're in luck. Mudra Link allows you to do exactly that. It's a wristband that leverages proprietary sensors and an AI algorithm that allows users to interact with their devices hands-free using wrist movements and hand gestures. So one of the demos is Fruit Ninja that you can just kind of like move your hands around and swipe fruit. Another really popular wearable is smart glasses. So there is one that was released at CES 2025, which is a holiday smart glass, which comes in around $500. What makes it cool is it has a 3.5 inch round display 
at your line of sight. So they have real-time language translation in 40 languages. The glasses will display phone notifications or even a cheat sheet with notes. Uh, it can pop up navigation directions. And there's also a proactive AI assistant that can offer helpful information about conversations you're having in real time. However, the company said it is not ready for testing just yet. Is this the Rabbit R1 of this year? Time will tell. This next one I am really excited about. I am a big fan of Roborock. Uh, they released the Sorrows Z70. So it's using the same AI powered camera that helps the robot avoid objects. It can now identify the objects in the way and it uses a claw like arm that can remove the obstacle if it weighs under 300 grams or about eight ounces. So things like socks, napkins, tissues, or even sandals, it can just lift them up and move them out of the way and continue cleaning. Another product we've seen at a few past CESs is Afila, which is a partnership between Sony and Honda where they teamed up to create a sedan. It is set to hit the road finally in 2026, and they have two trim options, one for 89000 and one for 102000 And both models are going to come with a three-year complimentary subscription package that includes a driver assistant package and voice assistant. Uh, they have touted that it's going to be using AI of some sort to have some self-driving features. It wouldn't be CES if Delta Airlines didn't make an announcement, and they said they're going to be releasing an AI-powered assistant in its mobile app. So it's going to be able to offer proactive advice and guidelines for flyers, starting with notifications about upcoming passport expiries or visa requirements. And eventually, they said the service was going to offer destination-specific notifications about local weather. And that's just one of the examples they gave. And of course, we have NVIDIA, which had a massive number of announcements. I'm just going to cover a few of the important ones. We have the GeForce RTX 5000 series, which is based on their new Blackwell architecture. We have Project Digits, which is a supercomputer about the size of a Mac Mini that easily sits on your desk and you can plug in a keyboard or monitor. Uh, the Project Digits can run a 200 billion parameter large language model without the need for a cloud infrastructure. So what are your thoughts on CES 2025? Is AI a buzzword where they're trying to shove it down on everything? Or do you find some of this stuff really cool and fascinating? Or are you interested in any of these products? I think personally, some of them are really cool where others are like, we can make this, but has anyone stopped to ask, should we make this? And something we should do is subscribe. So go down right now, hit the subscribe button and like the video because that tells other people that you enjoy this content and it helps me make better content. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Subscribe to Franklin, join the ride in this journey side by side.